Hi, welcome to another quick Cinema 4D tutorial. Uh, it's been a little bit of a while here, uh, but I wanted to just show you something that I picked up um, that uh, I think is really useful if you're animating in uh, Cinema 4D. So the, the tool we're gonna talk about, we've talked about before is Mixamo, um, where I, it's free to use, you have to have an account, um, but I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna look at just their list of characters so first thing they provide you is a, is a long list of characters that you can pick from. And you can also pick from a long list of animations once you've selected a, a character. So um, in this case, if I click on something like Samba dancing, you'll notice I can change the energy values, adjust what kind of a stance the person's in and, and sort of play with the, the frames um, and maybe different arm spacing as well. So in this, in this tutorial, we're not gonna sh show you how to rig your own characters. I'll do that in the, in the next tutorial. This is more about showing you how to put together your um, animation clips. Um, so I'm just gonna take this and I'm gonna download it. So I'll click download there. I've already done it. You can see it down here in the bottom. And then I'm also going to grab a T-Pose, which is just a standard, uh, you know, this is how the person would come into my animation. And I've already, downloaded that as well. So let's flip over to Cinema 4D. And now that we're in Cinema 4D, I've got, I've merged both of my animations in. Um, and so you can see that uh, if I bring in one animation, what comes in is all these items as well as the, uh, the joints. Um, so I'm gonna undo that. And so what I need to do is for since I have two overlapping um, moves, my T-Pose and my Samba Dance, I'm gonna make these a little bit cleaner. So I'm gonna group the first one here, call this one Samba Dancing, uh, and then I'm gonna hide that, and I'm gonna group the second one, and I'm just gonna call this T-Pose. Okay, um, so T-Pose is gonna be my starting position. So the thing I'm gonna do now is under Animate, I'm gonna add a motion clip. Um, so there's this option here to remove the included animation from the original object. Um, there's some differences on, on how you wanna do that. Let's say you're, you're not bringing in T-Pose, you're bringing in just like um, all animations only, then you're not gonna to wanna to uncheck that. You're gonna to, you're gonna, you're gonna to wanna to have it, sorry, you're gonna to wanna to have it unchecked because you want the included animation from the original object. But with the T-Pose, we don't need that. So I'm gonna add an animation clip here. And then I'm gonna do the same thing over here for Samba dancing, but I'm going to not have that checked like that. So now we're gonna go and we're gonna click on this and we're gonna click open in timeline. And now you can see in my timeline, I have my T-pose and my Samba dancing, okay? So right here is just, there's nothing to it. Um, but I can now drag in my Samba dancing clip and if I go over to my animation and click play, you'll notice it's starting in T-Pose and then it immediately goes into my Samba dancing. So we've got these two clips in there. Now this is where we have to do some, some playing. Um, so I'm gonna drag out my timeline a little bit here. It's the same hotkeys as in the animation window. Two, hold down the number two and click to kind of zoom in or zoom out. And then number one kind of clicks and drags. So the biggest thing I've got here is I just have two frames of my T-pose. And that's and then I have this abrupt change to my Sama dancing. So what first thing I can do is I can take my T-pose and I could just overlap it a little bit more, okay? So now you'll notice we have a little bit more of a smooth blend. Okay, it's pretty quick. Let's try it even, it's because my, let's try moving my Samba back to like the sixth frame and dragging it out. And now let's take a look at what we have here. So you can see kind of out of the corner here. Let's go back. So now it's, it's less abrupt, right? You can actually see frames adjusting from T-pose to that first dance move. So it almost added animations. So what's really cool about that is now you've got the ability to start laying out 
as many animations as you want. So I could go back into um, Mixamo and I could now add a, I don't know, let's add a jump attack and let's download that. And through the same process, once this thing downloads, through the same process, we just go to File, Merge, and I'll take my jump attack, and I'll bring it in, and the same, the same thing here. I'm gonna just click these, group these objects, call it my jump attack, and let's go to Animate, Add Motion Clip, we're not gonna remove it, and we're gonna hide it, and now we go into our T-Pose timeline. Now we've got this jump attack as an option. So I can now maybe go, okay, this guy's gonna have a, a crazy Samba dance jump attack. So we'll see from frame, where is, okay, there he is. He's gonna go from this move to that move. Okay, wow. So he's, Samba dancing along, Samba dancing along, boom. So what you'll notice is between this jump, the Samba dancing and the jump attack move, we have this big change in position going on. Um, and so what we need to do for our timeline, our animation, is we need to make sure that when we jump into our timeline, which we're using this T-Pose's timeline, we open that up, we can now click on the um, on the animation for jump attack and we can go in we can actually create a pivot for that so now what we can do is we can actually move that somewhere to here and now what you'll notice what I've done just by dragging that pivot to kind of where the person was standing for the samba dancing animation is we've made a much more realistic looking move because the relative position did not change. So if I just click play, boom. Okay, so that's just kind of it in a nutshell. And you can really get carried away and add so many different animations together. Um, in the next tutorial, I'll show you how to make your own animations. Um, very similar process, but um, Thanks for watching and I hope you learned something and please feel free to comment if you have any questions. Uh, thanks a lot. Oh, please subscribe.